Good morning, everyone. Russo here today again, and I hope everyone is doing all right. Today, I kind of wanted to, for the last few videos, I've been doing a lot of reviews on different pens, uh, pencils, things like that, basically just art supplies that I've used um, in the past, and I just wanted to show you guys kind of a more, I don't know, like, cool way to look at it instead of just me explaining um, about the supplies that I'm using. So this one is, I guess I, those of you might know who this person is already, but for those that don't, it's Jared Leto. And this is just, I don't know, I'm not particularly a uh, a huge fan or anything um, I like some of his movies that he's been in not really a fan of the music but uh yeah I don't know I think he has very nice features and I thought in particular his eyes and his eyelashes would look really good you know in a strong black and white so for this drawing that I did I used this brush pen um, and this is a Pentel pocket brush pen. Uh, I don't think I've, um, uploaded the video where I talk about this pen yet, but, uh, it's a nylon brush pen and it's one of my favorites and I'll show you here anyway. Um, so it's got the little nylon bristles there. It's refillable and basically what I did here to create something like this I usually when I'm drawing a face I like to start with the eyes first because I don't know I always um, I've always been told by others and kind of figured out myself as well that when the eyes are off in a portrait or what have you then it, that's what kind of skews it and makes it look most not like the person that you were intending to draw. So I kind of start with the eyes first and then build from there. And then I kind of also end with the eyes to kind of recheck, make sure that everything's looking as close to accurate as I want it to. And so for something like this, you can see the, the paper that I used is um, a watercolor paper. I'm not sure of the weight of it. Um, it's probably a cold press. It's quite um, rough to the touch. And also, I, I've mentioned in videos past that I just, the, I know that this is not meant for you know an ink brush pen but I just like the way that it feels how it looks to me so I go with it so now you can see that in some areas I have just like a very um light touch almost like a dab like you can see here just little dabs and I think for the most part I intended this piece to be uh, like a pointillism and I'm using that term just because I prefer it but I I know pointillism technically is supposed to refer more to um, like a Monet or something like that with uh, paint strokes and different colors and something like this where you see all the little dots around, it would be considered dot work, especially, especially, geez, sorry about that, <laughs> um, especially when it's in a tattoo, it would be dot, dot work, but I, when I was growing up, we would always call it pointillism, so, so that's what I'm going to refer to it as, um, and so that's what the feel that I was kind of going for with a lot of the different areas here and you can see that in some areas I did not use that technique and that's 
over here in the eyebrow area and at like the sides here basically anywhere where there's hair I kind of just used you know short quick strokes to to get across that it was hair I mean whether I had done it with dots or not you would have been able to tell but that's why I just went across you know with some lines and I also added a little bit of dots um, inside there as well and then continued with like the whole section here with all dots all dots and then where it was darker where the, the image that I was working from called for a way darker look I just completely went solid solid uh, black same with the eyebrows in here I, I drew um, these little spaces in the eyebrows that I didn't want to fill in and then I just filled in the rest with black and I went through um, several cartridges of ink on this one because it does absorb in the paper and you know the ink cartridge isn't that huge to begin with so um, I did go through a lot of ink I don't mind you know like some would say it's a waste but I definitely don't mind um because it I achieved the effect I was looking for and uh yeah the only thing I will note especially at this angle you can see right here and on the other side right here when this dries and then you go over top of it, it's almost like a shellac kind of effect. It has a little bit of a shine to it. So it's not fully um, matte as it looks at some angles. Again, I don't mind it, not a big deal. And this would be something that I might want to frame or something just so that I can have, you know, something because it is kind of like a square um and the reason behind that is that I think the picture I was working from didn't have the rest um of the parts filled in here so I didn't really have anything to work from and I didn't want to um make it up as I went along so yeah I just want to show you guys that and um let me see if I can give you a little bit of a closer look here so you can see in the eyebrow area right here the same kind of overlap when I went over another area. And then we have like the buildup of dots. So yeah, that's it for this one, guys. If you have any questions about my techniques or anything that I use, please let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to answer your questions. And I hope you have a great day. Bye.